A major part of Plato's ideal republic is its leader, the philosopher king. A philosopher king studies truth above all else. He is knowledgeable about forms, and Plato believes he is able to rule a city effectively because of his understanding of philosophy. Plato explains that if his ideal city were ever to exist, either philosophers must become kings, or kings must become true philosophers. Philosophers are best equipped to rule a city, Plato argues, because they see the world accurately and are able to sufficiently deny themselves as not to be corrupted by a leadership role. While Plato goes on to explain the types of governments a city can potentially have, the city under a philosopher king is considered the best of them all. Not ironically, Socrates himself is the individual that best fits the bill for the philosopher king. For more information on this topic, check out the 60 Second Philosophy blog linked in the comments section. There you will find helpful resources, links to free ebooks, and more. If you have questions about any topic in philosophy, post in the comments below and your question could be featured in the next 60 Second Q&A video. Subscribe and we'll study this together. Thanks for watching 60 Second Philosophy.